Eastern States. Eastern States. 2019. Woo! Yep, uh, Eastern States as a driver is uh, really important um, just because of the history of the event and um, also the amount of people that are here that you uh, are performing in front of. Stepping up in the early 2000s were drivers Chuck McKee and Jerry Higby. Both local to Middletown and fan favorites, these hometown guys were tough to beat. And we didn't expect to go out and do what we did in racing. We just went out to have fun. And a local guy out of turn four is going to come on down to grab it. And this grandstand is in rapture as Chuck McKee will take the checkered flag. And it's fortunate when things do go right and you have the success that we did. I started on a pole with Chuck McKee, and I remember they told me, you know what, just do exactly like you did in Brett school. You know, hit your lines, hit your marks. Don't worry about him. If you beat him on the start, just race the racetrack. Here comes Higby! And I was lucky enough to have the race go green to checkers, no yellows. So I was able to, to get away and, and basically run and hide, just doing exactly the way Brett had instructed at his school. And, and my first win just came so quickly. My Uncle Gary and I were at the diner um, until the next morning when the paper came, and then I read about it. So. <laughs> It was neat. Yeah, it was neat. It was that absolutely, it was unbelievable. As the 2000s went on, OCFS saw a changing of the guard with new names making headlines and a wave of young, aggressive drivers competing. In the 70s, it was the Florida Invaders. The 2000s seemed to have some northern invaders. Matt Shepard, Stu Friesen, drivers like that come down here. They're competitive right away. They can dominate a race down here. It raises the whole level of competition. 2003 Eastern State Sportsman Race, my rookie year in the dirt, the Sportsman Tour. I went down there with my buddies, and um, I think we were second quick time and got the lead right away and led every lap. Being a Canadian and, and being kind of an outsider, being able to go down there and win that race was really special. It is going to Stewie, Stewie, Stuart Friesen. Stuart Friesen's driving, he's a whole nother world. Like, I watch him race, and it's just like, how can I be like him? It's going to be Frieza to gain the upper hand on the inside. Frieza yells, na, 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 na. I've seen him. I've seen what he can do. I've watched him. I've admired watching him race. Uh, he's an animal, and uh, you, you better go as fast as you can for as long as you can. Very aggressive, exciting. And if his car is not good, he's going to make it good or try to make it work. Sometimes over his head a little bit, but that's what makes it so much fun to watch. He's still, he's on his heels at a turn number four this time. He was on thin ice, and... No, it just, it just worked out good. Shepard down to the inside. Shepard walks by Perigo. Matt Shepard's about winning. He's smooth. He's very intelligent. He works on his own stuff. He's an engineer. So he can adjust it, and he knows what he's looking for. The winner will be Matt Shepard. He does well. I mean, you know, his success has been non-paramounted in the last few years as far, and that's incredible in itself. Bunch of second place finishes, just never won, and uh, finally, you know, in the springtime, we're able to get that win, kind of get the monkey off our back. Superman is here, Matt Shepard. Shepard, he has a bad qualifying race, can come through. Uh, we've been able to come through sometimes, you know, and we've had bad qualifying. And I mean, I want to beat him every night, and he wants to beat me every night, but other than that, uh, you know, we race hard, and I feel like we both won our fair share. Perego is the guy to watch right now. He's the man at the moment. I don't think he has any fear. He just puts the pedal to the metal, and he's getting up front, and he's going to get there any way he can. Perego's bad to the bone. I mean, he's a racer. He's a guy that uh, I think he can win anywhere, any night, and, and is a student of the game. 
very talented. You know, they, he's definitely got it figured out. You know, one day you open your eyes and you go, Man, where'd that guy come from? Where'd that guy come from? He's running awfully good, you know, and uh, it happens. But it's not just the guys who have been running really good. There are some fast and furious females to watch, too. Allison Ricky is a fellow competitor and also a teammate. Allison's good. She can drive. She's outstanding. And I love her personality. She's got the walk and she's got the talk. She's got her helmet on. She's, uh, she's, she's going for it. It's like incredible to see her go that fast. I'm like, holy cow, look at her go. We definitely treat her like she's a guy on the racetrack. <laughs> It's been refreshing to see the amount that, that she's willing to travel and the amount of time she's willing to put into it. It's been pretty cool. Just OK is not good enough, so that's very cool. You know, she's not out there just to, to go out there and ride around. She's there to be competitive and to win races. I've learned from Jess, like, never give up. And it was cool to see Jess finish 12th at Eastern State. Finished in 12th place, driving a modified at the Eastern States 200. And be the first female to finish high up like that and against all these boys, it's great. We just kind of did the opposite strategy of Stewart. We had the same crew and the same guy. And she ran well. She qualified out of the heat races, uh, got in the show, ran all 200 laps, and, and finished 12th. So it was, uh, it was just an awesome day for us. Stu's wife is going to beat him one of these days. Perhaps dirt modified racing is one of the only extreme sports where you can find a 70-year-old veteran competing with a teenage prospect. Only a certain amount of us have been around this long, so it's, it's unique. If you look at how much experience every single driver in that field has, we aren't beginners. There's decades and decades and decades of experience, and if you have less than a decade, you're the exception.